Cupping therapy has been used by many cultures in the past, including Chinese, Indian, Middle Eastern, Europeans, Africans, and South Americans. I'm now glad to say that the alternative and complementary practitioners are using cupping therapy as a healing tool again. I have written a book on cupping therapy, on the subject of cupping therapy, and I brought together 10 cupping methods um, teaching the, uh, the reader safe cupping techniques. This patient has suffered facial paralysis due to a stroke, uh, due to um, a trauma about four years ago, and he is now left with a slight facial paralysis, which has been treated by um, acupuncture and cupping therapy. After leaving the needles there for about 10 minutes, the cupping procedure now can start. I will be using the um, pistol handle cupping apparatus for this purpose. It's easier to control the suction. Yeah. Apply a bit of oil to the face where the cupping is going to be performed. And the medium suction cups are applied to both sides of the face. No, nope, keeps falling off. You simply reapply them and make sure that they don't mark the face. As you can see, the mark on the face can be can be seen quite clearly. You can leave the cups in position for between three minutes to ten minutes. It depends, depending um, the uh, strength of the suction. This will be repeated two or three times a week for about two months. Good. <laughs> 